Hi everyone, I'm back with a completely new aquatic turtle setup plus new turtles. You're looking at my 20 gallon long aquarium. I have four hatchlings currently living in here, all born this year 2020. I purchased them from a trusted source online all the way from Fort Myers, Florida. I live in California so these turtles literally traveled across the United States. Trusted company, I recommend them. This little baby is a three-striped mud turtle, scientifically known as Kinosternin barii, a very tiny turtle that will reach about four to five inches as an adult. I would like to say this is a great beginner turtle. Just because of that, they stay small. And they are even smaller when they're hatchlings, like this one. This is a beautiful specimen. Distinct three stripes on its shell. Just beautiful. Oh, are you looking at me? Yeah, you're looking at me. You're cute. Yeah, you. We gotta keep on moving. And uh, time to show you guys the rest of the turtles. Oh, whoa. That was quick. All right, next turtle. This one here is a yellow mud turtle, scientifically known as Kinosternin flavescens. This one grows to be about five to six inches long as adults. This is such a beautiful turtle. Just look at the patterns on the throat and the arms. This is just, this is a nice one. Out of all my hatchlings, this is by far the smallest one. Around the size of a quarter. Very, very tiny turtle. I can't wait to see how she or he is going to look like in the future. Should be a beautiful specimen from what we're seeing so far. This is another three stripes mud turtle. Very tiny with a beautiful plastron. They are known for the three yellow stripes on top of the shell. Like I mentioned earlier, they stay small and make an excellent pet for smaller aquariums. You can house two of these as adults for life in a 20 gallon tank. I am not planning on keeping all of these four turtles in this tank, but I am planning on keeping only two. My two three stripe mud turtles will be living in this 20 gallon long tank for the rest of their lives. Yes. <laughs> My yellow mud turtle and the next turtle I'm going to show you are going to be living in a different separate aquarium as they get older. Now let's move on. This is my fourth hatchling, a red cheeked mud turtle. It has been growing noticeably faster than all my other turtles. This one has not shown signs of bright coloration on its face, but I've read that the colors kick in as they grow older. A beautiful turtle and I'm glad to have this one in my tank. I had to get rid of my old red cheek mud turtle from before I've made videos on. Um, made me sad, I regretted it weeks later. I won't let this one go. Filtration is a priority in your turtle tank. Turtles are very messy when they eat and when they poop. It gets all over the place and you need filters to suck it all out. I currently have four filters running in this 20 gallon long aquarium. Some will say that it's overkill but I've always done this with all of my turtle aquariums and I've always had clear water. The turtles drink this water, they swim in it, and they sleep in it. They deserve a clean environment and I hope you guys treat your turtles with much love and respect to keep them happy and living for a long time. You just want to avoid drowning your turtles with all the water current in the aquarium. So I'll jump into that in just a second. This right here is a Zoomed 318 Turtle Clean Submersible Filter. Uh, that's the last filter I have, so four filters in total. Talking about filtration, I have live plants growing in this tank, and sometimes the roots get ripped off due to the turtles moving their way to the top, hanging on and chilling on the plants. And so the roots start floating around, roaming the tank until they get sucked up through these filters and start clogging everything, so you just gotta keep an eye on these roots. These aquatic plants are called dwarf water lettuce. They help clean the tank from toxins and make safe zones for the turtles. The roots help the turtles hang on and get a grip through the water current. I really love the way the plants look too. It keeps the tank looking alive on the surface. They are affordable, very cheap. About $2 I paid for this head here at my local pet shop. 
I have this aquarium ring here that floats on the top. It keeps my plants in place. Without the ring, my plants will float all over the place out of control. For their dry basking area, I have here in this tank two turtle docks made by Zoomed, a mini size on the right and a small size on the left. Both are excellent at keeping my turtles dry when basking. That keeps them dry above. Now this keeps them warm below. My 100 watt aquarium heater made by Orlushi. This is a turtle dock made by Oasis. One of the grip strips already fell off. I love this product right here. This is a Zoomed Repti hammock. It's held down by three suction cups. It makes a great spot for the turtles to get a grip on. And it makes an excellent coverage underneath as well when, when they want to get away from strong water current. This is a betta fish accessory. They make a safe and comfortable resting spot for my turtles. They're held in place with suction cups and I got eight of them in this tank all over the place to help my hatchlings hang on. I have a lot of water current pushing through this tank and with the help of all these aquarium accessories my hatchlings do very well in this tank. I'm using a Zoomed dual dome aquatic turtle UVB and heat lighting kit. A Reptisun 10.0 UVB on this side on the left and a 75 watt Exoterra splash proof basking bulb on the right side. My lights are being held up above with this Zoomed reptile lamp stand. This makes positioning of my lights so much easier and secure. It's being held down underneath the tank and it runs up, can be easily adjusted. I will make sure to leave links down in my description of all the items that I'm using in this video. Here is a Zoomed digital thermometer reading 78.4 Fahrenheit. A very important item that I think everyone should have in their aquarium. Knowing your animal's temp enclosure is a must. I have some turtle tank companions in here. I have two dwarf gourami. They are such beautiful fish and they live for about four to six years, but with proper care, they can live longer. I have a blue one and a red one. And I've never had one before, but I'm looking forward to keeping them alive for several years. They love eating the leftover crumbs of turtle food that fall down during turtle feeding. These fish help me keep the tank clean by leaving the bottom surface clear of leftover food that would otherwise get sucked and clogged in my filters. I have not had any issues with my turtles trying to eat these fish because these fish are too quick for my turtles. They swim very fast and my mud turtles are not great swimmers. Mud turtles in general are known to be crappy swimmers. So I'll just have to keep my eyes open and watch them coexist throughout the years. And I'll have to pull out the fish if the turtles start biting. Let's talk about turtle food. I feed them hatchling pellets that I received from the turtle source. They are these small little round pellets. The turtles love it. They also included some medium sized pellets that my turtles can't fit in their mouth yet. I also hook them up with these delicious treats once a week. They love variety and they sure enjoy eating these high quality pellets. These pellets are too big for the hatchlings mouths. So what I do is I grab one of them and I crush it into two to three different pieces so they're able to fit in their mouths. Well that's about it for today. If you guys have any questions for me, please drop them down in the comments below. Go ahead and tap that like button too if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.